Hey guys, how's it going? Have a little haul today. Um, this is a haul, kind of an everything haul. It's Hobby Lobby, it's Frantic Stamper, it's um, Happy Mail, it's Walmart, it's Kato, it's a little bit of everything. So, I'm going to get jump right into it. And um, these are the Store Right plastic storage sheets. I ordered a bunch of these um, to store my unmounted rubber stamps on. And um, as you guys know, I've told you earlier I got some new shelves so um, kind of organizing not really a different way but adding to what worked so um, I kind of trimmed them to be about this size and they fit in the uh, extra large Avery L pockets which is really cool so all right um, and then uh, this is Stampendous uh, stamps this says may the fork be with you I thought that would be really cute for birthday stamps and things. I just thought it was adorable. And um, I love movies and things like that. So I got this little, um, these little kitty cats. Uh, what's this called? It's called Newton's Movie Night by Newton's Nook. And so you've got the popcorn. And this one's holding its eyes. That one reminds me of my friend Amy at Scary Movies. There's me. I'm stuffing my face. Or this one. I don't know which one. Um... Anyway, we go together like movies and popcorn, you're invited, movie night, the little 3D glasses you sometimes get, and little popcorns and little stars, and then dies to go with that, so that was really cute. Um, and then they had this really cute popcorn stencil to go with it, so I thought that might be good. I love some buttery popcorn, oh my god, <laughs> I could just sleep on popcorn. Um, Alright, so all of a sudden I've gotten into... Um, chameleon stamps right and I can't decide on which one I want so I ended up with several and it's a long story but anyway these are by Lawn Fawn you're one in a chameleon get it really cute and then dies for that these little sets are very very affordable so I always like when they put something out for that this one is the your next stamp um, brand stamp and die and it's called one in a chameleon as well um, Thanks uh, for going on a limb for me. You're one in a chameleon. Um, peace, dude. You color my world. Have a colorful birthday. Don't ever change. And I just think, look at his little, he's holding up a little peace sign. So cute. And anyway, so there's that. And then, <laughs> told you I was slightly obsessed with these. Um, what Honestly, like I would go on Pinterest and look at different card samples or whatever. And I, they would come up for all these. And they were so stinking cute that I just couldn't decide. So, anyway. It's a little overkill, but, you know. Anyway, Hero Arts. Um, I don't know what this one is called. Chameleon Stamp and Die Cut. So, this one comes with the dies. That's pretty cool. And you're one in a chameleon. Uh, you're amazing just the way you are. Happy birthday. And it's got the accessories. But, again, and a little ladybug. So cute. But, it's just, I don't know. They were so different. Like, so different. They don't look that different here, but I swear they are. Um, this is called the Jungle Frame Fancy Die, and uh, I had ordered this before I made my father's, um, uh, what do you call that? Um, Tarzan card, right? If you watch that video. Um, and it was kind of similar, but kind of not. So, um, and this was way more leafy and whatever, and I really just, I really like that. Um, and this one too. <laughs> I like to make jungle theme cards. Um, I need to do more of those this summer, and I plan on it. So, even though these were similar, this is more of a frame, and this is more of just like a background kind of thing, and yeah. But honestly, if I would have pulled out that one first, then I probably, and compared it to these, I might not have gotten these, to be honest. But I do really still like them, so. Alright, so I got this to go with it. Um, this is the Hero Arts, let's see, Thanks a Bunch monkey set. And it says, for my cheeky little monkey, thanks a bunch, just swinging by to say happy birthday. Or just swinging by to, like, say, hang in there. Or I love you more than bananas. That's cute. So you got the little bananas here. And anyway, I just think that's adorable. Alright, so I've been wanting this forever, and to be honest, I was going to try to get it off of AliExpress, and, but then some of the people on the reviews would say it didn't cut right, it wasn't right, some were like, oh, it's great, and so, um, but anyway, it kind of makes this like, you layer it, so you could have like three or four layers here of this, and it like, you can kind of make an, a depth 
version, like a scene, you know, back in there. And um, so I just thought that was cute. But I also got this happy birthday um, stuff to go in the circle part if I just wanted to do a birthday card. What I really got it for was to do like a an ocean theme something. But um, I, I definitely need a lot of birthday cards, so I picked up the birthday thing too. Okay, this was a 5x7 um, embossing folder. You guys know I'm a complete sucker for 5x7 size of any embossing folder. Um, this is the uh, Sarah Davies Nautical Collection. And it's just called Ocean Waves. And I just think it's really pretty. Alright, so I need to do some birthday cards this summer. And to be honest, I'm going to have to get cracking this next week. Because instead of getting ahead, which is what I planned for summer, I'm actually getting behind. And the birthdays are like creeping up. And I've got some this summer, so I've got to get on those. Um, but these are cute. It says, happy birthday, classy, sassy, and still kicking assy. Um... Here's to another year of attempting to be a functioning adult. I love that. Um, birthdays are good for you. Statistics show that people who have them live the longest. Uh, it's never too late to be what you want to be unless you want to be younger than you're screwed. I have two lips. Or I'm sorry, I have two tips for your birthday. Forget the past. You can't change it. Forget the present. I didn't get you one. Um, I was going to make you a rum cake for your birthday, but now it's just a cake and I'm drunk. You don't look a day over fabulous. I eat cake because it's somebody's birthday somewhere. I didn't know if I should text, like, chat, poke, or tweet your birthday wish, so I sent this card instead. Age is merely the number of years the world has been enjoying you. And here's to another year closer to Velcro shoes. Ah, I didn't actually see that one before. So cute. Um, okay. So this one is an Echo Park Company paper. I mean, uh, designer stamps, it says... Um, and the boyfriend loves pirate stuff and whatever, so, um, and this is like a little bit cheesy for him, but I have some better looking pirate stamps to go with it, but I don't have any sayings, so, um, so I picked up this for those, basically, and I do like the little Jolly Roger flag, uh, walk the plank, work like a captain, play like a pirate, I thought I might get him like a bottle of rum or something to go with that, a little treasure map, uh, land ho, hoi matey, an anchor's always good, you got your little parrot, Okay, so then, let me move this out of the way for a second. Um, I will I love, love, love these Verse Fine Claire inks. So I picked up the uh, Cheerful and the Verdant and the Green Oasis. So um, I'll eventually have a complete set someday. <laughs> time soon, of course, but hey. All right, so next up... Um, I went to Hobby Lobby and I got two more cases. And these were 40% off. They're $6.99 regular. So everything Tim Holtz was 40% um, off. And I like to keep my Alta New little tiny inks in there. So that's pretty cool. And then um, got these. You know that I, if I saw pineapple earrings, sorry, it is like all hooked and twisted, um, then I have to get those, right? So. Ah, it's not just work with me here ping okay um <laughs> so these were $3.99 at Kato and they're cute little pineapples so I like that and then I found these for $5.99 reminds me of Rainbow Bright um so I got those and then these um were $3.99 and I just like those kind of deep jewel tone colors in the summer so I picked up that now, maybe you guys can help me with this. I picked up this horrendously ugly watch. It was clearance for $11 because nobody wants this ugly watch. Let me see how much it was originally. $22.84. Then it was marked down to sticker I can't see and then $11. But anyway, um, <laughs> my fiance really loves this. And he's been buying these clearance watches all the time. He bought like three the other day. And, but he's, he keeps talking about this one, but he wants the others more and whatever. And anyway, so finally I got this old ugly thing. I look, it's like plastic and it looks like a Spider-Man watch or something that you wear in the fifth grade. So, um, I, I'm just going to surprise him with it this summer or something. I don't know, but what kind of card could I do with this? Or I don't know. Uh, I want something cutesy, you know, something special, something, um, maybe just time with you, I don't know. Um, but 
give me your ideas for that. And because uh, I want to do it kind of a cute way or leave him somewhere for him to find or something. I don't know. But also, like Stampa says, big red ugly watch. But um, hopefully he won't wear that when he goes out with me. I don't know. No, I'd love him anyway. doesn't matter. So now let's talk about not exactly happy meal, but happy gifts. Um, <laughs> you guys know I always cough in here. It's not a video if I don't cough. Um, but anyway, I got this cute little box. Yeah, it's a great little storage box. Um, I went out with a friend of mine the other day, and we went to uh, Chili's to eat. And um, caught up on some gossip and what's been going on in life and all that good stuff. And um, so she brought me some yummy peanut butter cookies and a really cute little card with it. So um, we actually, well, we ended up, I think we got our dessert with our dinner because we got one of those deals, you know, like you pick three or something. And, um, but anyway, so we kind of had like double dessert. So it was yummy. So it was very thoughtful and sweet. And then I got this from, you guys know her from as Left Hand Crafter, Brandy here on YouTube. And look, yay, Tuesday morning stamps. Cute little owl, and a cute little owl and a hat, and a Santa, and presents. But it'll just, that's my favorite. That's definitely my favorite. That's definitely going to be a card for the boyfriend. Um, and then she sent me this book, uh, You Are Awesome. And it's just so cool. Like, it folds out. I can't even, it's so complicated to me. I don't know it had to be complicated to make because I can really figure out how to fold it back. But um, this was some just happy meal that I was excited about. So, hey, cupcake. And it's got a cupcake. And look, it's like it's the little wrapper. And it's like I just want to touch it and feel it, you know. Um, you know those books you used to get, like, back in the day? Like the touchy-feely, feel the fur of the animal or whatever. Anyway, I feel like it's a touchy-feely book. Um, and then she made it, like, into pockets and tuck things back here. The cute little cupcakes. And then um, a cute watermelon. And then let me figure out how to fold it again here. Um, anyone who says sunshine brings happiness has never danced in the rain. I love that. More cupcakes and like little sprinkles. And like it just, it never ends. It's like, and it might be called the never ending book or something. I can't remember what she calls it. But like again, I don't know how to fold it back. She's going to have to help me. But yeah. So I can't, and I figured it out enough to have it flat for the video, but I will figure it out again. But I do love it. Thanks a bunch, girl. And uh, so that was a fun surprise mail. This is from um, my friend Shirley. Um, so she ordered these and did a little tag. These are the new stamps. There's her letter. Um, and then a nice Father's Day card. She always does cool seasonal cards. And look, I've never thought to do this. Um, she has like the little bolts, you guys see those little bolts, but it has like glossy accents or something on there, and I've never thought to put that on there, that would be, that would add like so much pizzazz, you know, um, and she left it blank so I could use that, um, and then this like textury type paper, but I really love that, I love all her cards, she's very creative, um, I always get excited when I get a card from her in the mail, so, alright guys, let's see, well, I got this, I can show you this, um, I think that was all, this is just a glass thingy that, to go on your phone. Um, I upgraded my phone. Oh my God, Nightmare City. Um, let's see what time I'm at before I start rattling on. Anyway, okay, so I'm almost like 14 minutes. But I upgraded phones um, for my father. His messed up, which was really my mother's phone. And it was almost like, oh my God, losing a piece of her again. It's hard, but um, we love that phone. <laughs> but um, so I upgraded his phone and we kept that one, but that's, you know, it doesn't work, so they couldn't get anything off of it, which I'm not going to give up on that just yet, but we'll see. Um, but I got the iPhone, what's it called, XS Max, and it was buy one, get one free, so I had to add a new line, cancel my old line that I had him on. Um, so I got him an XR, I believe, yeah, an XR. Um, I don't know what the, whatever means, I just like it that it has more storage than mine. And I do not like that it does not have like a home button. You gotta swipe up on the thing. So annoying. But you know, whatever. Um, but anyway, these were way cheaper at the little place out in the middle of the mall than at AT&T because that is insane pricing in there. Oh my god. But so it's mine for the next 30 months. Yay, another payment. Oh my god. But anyway, 
So I'll talk to you guys later. That was my haul. That was my shopping trip. And peace. Love ya. Bye.